Six mods your neighbours will hate you for installing. In a parallel universe, not everyone in the world is a petrol head, and if you're especially unlucky, a non-petrol head who doesn't understand why we modify cars will live next to you. If you find yourself in this situation, then be warned that these six mods will make your neighbours hate you forever. Loud blow-off valve. To us, the of blow-off valves are a clear sign that the magic of forced induction is at work under the hood. Petrol heads go weak at the knees for this sound, but not so your neighbours. They'll think it's yet another unnecessary and obnoxious modification designed to do little more than scare their stupid little dogs. Straight pipe. If you plan on angering your neighbours to the point of being visited by the cops, then straight piping your car is a surefire way of making that happen quickly. Because the point of a straight pipe is to allow exhaust gases to exit the exhaust more effectively without the restriction of mufflers and catalytic converters, the result is a car so loud that you can hear it from miles away. Train horn. Trains have massively powerful horns so that people far away can hear them coming. On the road, we don't need horns this loud because we're usually in relative proximity to other drivers. This is why our car horns are comparably quieter. That hasn't stopped some people from retrofitting train horns to cars, and the result is utterly ridiculous. It's loud enough to make people jump out of the way even when the car is nowhere near them. Just know that if you're waiting outside for someone and you honk with a train horn fitted, you'll likely have a pile of hate mail on your doorstep the very same day. Rev limiter. A rev limiter is a cost-effective way of tuning your car's ignition timing without having to splash out on a full standalone ECU. A hard cut limiter can retard the ignition timing when the car gets to its red line, which gives you that signature pop and bang when bouncing off the limiter. If you value the relationship you have with your neighbors, we suggest not putting putting a rev limiter to use at 2 in the morning outside their house. For some reason, they don't appreciate that. Rolling coal. To roll coal, you'll need to get a diesel vehicle, preferably a truck, and then install a switch that tricks the engine into thinking that it needs more fuel. Once installed, the engine won't be able to burn all of the fuel in the cylinder and will push dirty black smoke out of the exhaust. And voila, you can now roll coal. A very small percentage of owners fit these switches to their trucks because they think it's cool, while the rest of us, including your neighbor, find it pretty stupid. Straight cut gears. Straight cut gears are pretty controversial even in the car community. Some think that they are too noisy and should only be used on track while others love the high-pitched wind that proper straight cut gears give you. To those unfamiliar with the sound, your neighbours included, the screams of straight cut gears simply sound like there's something very broken. For that reason, it might be better to keep them to the track if you live around impatient neighbours. Ah! There we go. Kayak is now secure. Ish. If you want to use this as a daily and if you want to rely on it, then you will have a very tough time as I have been finding out.